Well, I think, you know, as, as highlighted, the, the priority for the Australian New Zealand government is to be able to, you know, sort out the travel arrangements within their own country. The, our Commissioner can speak to that more in detail. Uh, across the states, of course, we've seen that restrictions are, uh, sorry, travel uh, has restrictions on it. And then, of course, they're looking at working between Australia and New Zealand. Um, our, our position was that, yes, we accept that, but we want to be able to know what can we do in the meantime to be able to prepare ourselves uh, in the event or when it does actually open up. So we need to be, you know, all geared up for that, whether it's, uh, you know, regulatory frameworks in respect of medical protocols, etc., that we need to be developed. And we can start those conversations uh, now. We, we are still uh, working with New Zealand to put in place the Trans-Tasman bubble and that is some time away. As you're probably aware, there are still um, active coronavirus cases in Australia. Um, but once the work has been done to open up the Trans-Tasman bubble, um, we will look very quickly at including Fiji in that as well. But we will be, uh, our principal concern is to make sure that um, the health of New Zealanders, Australians and Fijians are protected. We don't want to be uh, reinfecting Fiji or New Zealand. So our public health people will have to uh, establish the protocols and the procedures to allow travel to take place. But I think the hard work will take place between Australia and New Zealand and once that work is done it will be very easily applied to Fiji.